it's raining like absolute insanity right now, so I apologize if you, like, you can hear that, right? Alright, so I'm gonna be talking about kind of how the past few weeks have been for me and doing YouTube and doing this freelance photography and videography business thing with Adaptation Creations and Adapting Creativity. Hi, my name is Henry Sierra and I'm building a brand called Adapting Creativity. Adaptation Creations is the freelance business behind that brand, but Adapting Creativity, the idea behind the actual brand itself, is that you change things here and there little by little within your creative projects that way you can sustain innovation over a long period of time. You don't have to keep making the same kind of content over and over and have a dull feeling on that. You can change your shit and be creative with it. The reason why I wanted to give you guys kind of like a recap, if you haven't noticed the videos that I've been uploading, if you're a consistent watcher of these videos, I have been uploading pretty much nothing but freelance photography related stuff. This is mostly because I'm trying to A-B test content to see where I can take this because if you guys aren't interested in this and I don't want to keep making it, even though I enjoy this and I know where I'm going with this, if you guys don't enjoy this, it's just gonna kill whatever I'm making. But along with that, the rate at which I am producing these videos of freelance related things, it's a lot. And that is why I wanted to talk to you guys about this. I guess this will be kind of like a recap plus how I'm feeling about this. So before this freelance stuff, I was strictly just doing YouTube, trying to build this channel and doing that as uh, strictly as I could. But now that I'm building both of these things, it's um, kind of awkward and that's kind of for me to figure out and that is why these videos may come out late or they might be edited in kind of a weird way that you're not used to from seeing from, seeing from me um, or they have different thumbnails, things like that. Actually, before I get on with this video, uh, here is the most recent photo shoot that I did with Daisy and Anna, who I haven't seen since like a month and a half ago-ish, and they're actually my first freelance photo shoot, and it was the hiking one. Uh, this is how that went, it was at Dunkin' Donuts, um, and it was awesome. The problem with this is that there is a lot of things in the background, so you mess around a lot with perspective. You will see how I do that and the angles that I used. So I have been scheduling a lot of these photo shoots. I have three just this week, uh, Daisy and Anna included, two more tomorrow on thir Friday, Thursday. When you are watching this, you are watching this Wednesday. You should be watching this Wednesday. Yeah, I have two more photo shoots on Thursday and then another video due on Friday. Eventually I want to get to a point where I am getting four photo shoots a week, four paid photo shoots a week, and three videos out a week. That is a lot of content, but um, I'm trying to make it work. And the thing is, is like, I did expect a lot of work to be done because that is the only way to get this thing off of the ground and building it and it just takes a lot because it's more than just a kind of photography business it's a media brand so that means like you guys will start seeing things like promotion videos that I edit and direct and things like that I've been talking about that with Josh who I did another photo shoot with slowly but surely this is gonna become more than just these videos it's gonna become a thing that you can relate to and want to invest in so eventually these photo shoots are gonna be videos and they're gonna be production videos and videos of going on these photo shoots but they're gonna be on Instagram. There's eventually gonna be a website which I've talked about in another older video of, like months back. Oh, this is my first vlog. 165 over the course of a year um, and my goal is 400 so got some more work to do. I'm happy about that, I'm just tired. <laughs> I started creating the website for this company now, the website is not nearly finished. I have a lot of work to do, a lot of presentation to be done on this site, but um, here's a little sneak peek. As well as that little hint up there, um, the LLC isn't actually true yet, but one day, one day. Yeah, it's a lot, um, but I wanted to say also, because I know that I'm not the only entrepreneuring entrepreneur. I know that I'm not the only one pursuing entrepreneurship um, or being a entrepreneur, doing entrepreneurship things. And, and this is for you. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. Are you guys doing anything like entrepreneur entrepreneurship related? Like are you guys starting any businesses, any brands? Are you trying to do something creative? Um, are you starting school? It's August, people are going back to school. Yeah, what are you doing and how is that is that affecting you? Are you enjoying it? One of the most common things with like building businesses that is said among entrepreneurs is that it takes five years to build anything meaningful. I keep trying to remind myself of this, and I think that any of you guys that are pursuing really anything towards a career should actually think about this as well. This is going to be my second year, of, or actually my first year with Adapting Creativity, um, and just a few months starting this freelance stuff, and I'm going pretty much full speed. That's what's needed because it's brand building, but at the same time, just, it's okay. Just like, 
I think that's the lesson to learn from this video, just to chill for a second and just be present, I guess. This video has become like more of like a note to self type thing, but you get the point and I'm sure this will help more than just me. So yeah, I'm gonna end this video now because this rain is loud as hell and I don't want this video to be too long and I have to get it up, so yeah. Life for me has been a bit crazy this past month, but it is going amazingly and I'm really proud of the things that I'm creating and the help that I'm getting from people or the, like the interest that I'm getting, like this is insane how this interest is going. All right, so we are at Apodaca Park. Um, Hi. Daisy, Anna, <laughs> we came for a photo shoot. It was very fun. We made a TikTok along the way. <laughs> and <laughs> I'll put the photos in this video, hopefully. Or however that works. Yeah, I'm appreciative of it and I will continue to post content and I want to see where it goes and how you guys enjoy it. So hopefully it goes well. Um, yeah, other than that, I post on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I got a new life, you would hardly recognize me. I'm so glad. How could a person lie?